I have no wealth to speak of except the clothes up on my back. I can do the country hotel, I can buck and wing your showdown. And while I'm in the notion, just step back and watch my motion. Go away, man, I can hypnotize this nation. I can shake the Earth's foundation with the maple leaf rag. Oh, go away, man, just hold your breath a minute, for there's not a stuff that's in it with the maple leaf rag. I dropped into the swellest ball, the great exclusive it. My face was dead again, me and my trousers didn't fit. Maple leaf was started, my timidity departed. I lost my trepidation, you could taste the admiration. Go away, man, I can hypnotize this nation. I can shake the Earth's foundation with the maple leaf rag. Oh, go away, man, just hold your breath a minute. For there's not a stump that's in it with the maple leaf rag. Frag justice. Oh, no, indeed, it's how you pick with the best. Thank you, Dan, Daniel. There, I, I guess maybe because it's that that particular piece of music is sort of neighborly to me. Neighborly to you? <laughs> well, it's about someone from Virginia, and I'm from the hills of Carolina, so we're neighbors, as you might say. Oh, oh come now! Oh, I remember. Grew up on a farm, didn't yep. you? Yep. How's your old homestead doing these days? Well, not so good, I hear tell. There ain't much money in milk and eggs these days, so my dad spends all his time trying to figure out something else for the chickens and cows to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good no. idea. Yeah. Do you do you miss the farm, Huck? Well, not 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 too much there. You, you see, life on the farm is, is really for the birds. You go to bed with the chickens, you get up with the roosters, and you fly around all day. Oh, oh come yeah. on now. But, but, yeah. but, but still. <laughs> Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina. Sweetie, when I meet her in the morning, when the morning glories twine around the door, whispering pretty stories, I long to hear once more. Strolling with my girly when the dew is pearly early in the morning, butterflies all flutter up and kiss each little buttercup at dawn. If I had Aladdin's lamp for only a day, oh, I'd make a wish. Here's what I'd say: Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Come on, everyone, join on in. Oh, I'd like to sing this one. Yes, I do. Oh, in fact, I'm gonna sing it again with you. Here we go. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. No one could be sweeter than my sweetie when I meet her in the morning. When the morning glories twine around the door, whispering pretty stories, I long to hear once more. Strolling with my girly where the dew is pearly early in the morning. Butterflies all flutter up and kiss each little buttercup at dawn. If I had a lens lamp for only a day. I make a wish, and here's what I'd say: Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. Oh boy, that was good with, with the butterflies and the dew and the and the early morning. I love. Oh, I like it. I like. Oh, Carolina in the morning. Oh, it's it was pretty good. Don't too. fly away now. We'll be back to roost shortly. <laughs> Heads 
anybody see my gal? Oh, turned up nose, turned down hose, never had no other bows. Has anybody seen my gal? Now if you run into a five foot two covered with fur, Diamond rings and all those things You bet your life it isn't her Oh, could you love, could you woo Could she, could she, could she, could she coo Has anybody seen my gal? Life, it isn't her. Could you love? Could you move? Could she? Could she? Could she coo? Has anybody seen my girl? Oh, boo! <laughs> oh, good heavens! Whatever is the matter, Scratch? Oh, it's that song, man. That song always makes me think of Ernestine. Uh, Ernestine, old chap. Oh, my honey, back home. Oh. She the sweetest little thing. Little? Why, Ernestine's so big when she sits around the house, she sits around the house. Well, now, she may be a little on the pleasingly plump side, but she's trying. She takes her reducing bill three times a day with a strawberry soda, and she never eats peanuts. Uh, Peanuts fattening? Have you ever seen a skinny elephant? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough kidding. How about we play a special number dedicated to Ernestine? Scratch, what'll it be? Ernestine, honey, wherever you are, I just want you to know that while me and the boys are on the road, uh, river, I sure do miss you, sugar. <laughs> to walk with, but I'm happy on the shelf. He misbehaving, saving my love for you. I know for certain the one that I love. I'm through with flirting with just you I'm thinking of. He misbehaving, saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner, sitting in that corner Don't go nowhere, what do I care? Your kisses I've been ready for well, I, don't I don't stay out late, I don't care to go I'm on my body, me and my radio Sure hope you ain't misbehaving either. Well, well, watch out, boys. They're, they're coming over the hill. Don't, don't shoot till you see the whites of their eyes. The Colonel's dreaming again. Scratch time for Reveille. That's about the only thing that's guaranteed to wake him. Colonel Buford T. Beauregard reporting for duty, sir. Oh, it's y'all. Colonel, you were asleep again. Nonsense, I never sleep on duty. But you were snoring, Colonel. Wasn't he, folks? Well, that just proves I wasn't asleep. I can never sleep when I snore. <laughs> <laughs> you sure had us fooled. Thought we were going to get shot any minute. 
Now that we know you and your men aren't planning an ambush, what would you like to play for the folks? What would I like to play, sir? Why, there's only one piece of music in this whole world worth listening to. And we all know what that is. of cotton old times there they're not forgotten look away look away look away Dixie land in Dixie land where I was born early on one one frosty morning Look away, look away Look away, Dixieland And we sure was in Dixie, hooray, hooray In Dixieland to take my stand Live and die in Dixie Away, away, away down south in Dixie Away, away, away down south in Dixie Colonel B. Now, how about one of my favorites? I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die. A real life nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. I've got a Yankee Doodle Sweetheart, she's my Yankee Doodle Joy. Yankee Doodle came to London. The ponies. I am the Yankee Doodle Boys. All together now, guys. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, a Yankee Doodle Do or Die. A real life nephew of my Uncle Sam, born on the 4th of July. I've got a Yankee Doodle Sweetheart, she's a Yankee Doodle Joy. Came to London just to ride the ponies. I am the Yankee Doodle Boy. You're a grand old flag, you're a high flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true, under red, white, and blue, and there's never a boast or brag. Never a boast or brag, but should all 
Bronx sure makes me homesick. Homesick? Why, man? Well, I grew up in New York. The Bronx, to be exact. Big D. I never knew that. Scratch in the neighborhood where I grew up. Instead of signs saying, keep off the grass, they wrote, don't eat the grass. We were so poor that for Christmas dinner, we used to get a picture of a turkey. Oh, uh, if you grew up in the Bronx, how come you have such a highfalutin accent? It's not that I have anything against the way they talk in the Bronx, mind. But I decided that if I was going to be a lawyer, it would be best if the judge could understand me. Oh, you were going to be a legal beagle? Oh, what stopped you? The fourth grade. <laughs> oh, well, man, the way you tinkle those ivories, it seems to me that someone handed down the right decision. Being a piano player has its high notes all right. But there are times when I'm floating down the great old Mississippi here, when I miss the hustle and bustle, the lights and excitement. <laughs> See two Yankees port upon a foreign shore When the good ship's just about to start for old New York once more With fear dimmed eye they say goodbye They're friends without a doubt When the man on the pier shouts let them clear As the ship strikes out To Harrow Square. Tell all the gang at 42nd Street that I will soon be there. Whisper of how I'm yearning to mingle with the old time throng. Give my regards to old Broadway and say that I'll be there ere long. Give my regards to Broadway. Remember me to Harrow Square. Second Street that I will soon be there Whisper of how I'm yearning To mingle with the old time throng Give my regards to old Broadway And say that I'll be there long. Don't go away, folks We'll be right back
Scratch here is kind of excited. His honey's coming in to visit tonight, and they're going to paint the town. Say, Scratch, when Ernestine steps off that train, how are you going to greet her? Oh, man, I'll say... <laughs> This is Scratch Mode, Dolly. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. You're looking swell, Dolly. I can tell, Dolly. You're still glowing, you're still growing, you're still going strong. I see the room swaying, cause the band's playing one of your old favorite songs from way back when. Oh, I love Fellas, find her an empty knee. Fellas, got a lover away. Hi, everyone. I'm Daniel T-Bones, the leader of this motley group we call Daniel and the Dixie Diggers. Sure hope you're all having a great time. We've got a couple of hot numbers to play for you in just a minute. But first, I bet you'd like to be introduced to my associates here. How this diverse group from north, south, places in between and so far east of the east coast that you have to take a ship or plane to get there ever got together, I'll never know. But here we are. And it's my pleasure to introduce, behind me on my left, under that Confederate cap, our own Kentucky Colonel, home from the wars, <laughs> the best Dixieland drummer around, Colonel Buford T. Beauregard the third. Oh, I see oh, that was Colonel. Thank, thank you, gentlemen. Right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and next to him, the royalty of the group. In the funny hat, all the way from London, England, Sir Percival, a peerless peer on clarinet. Oh, fantastic, Carson, oh, fantastic. From way down south in Dixie, the one, the only, the incomparable, the inimitable, Scratchmo on trumpet. Oh, what a lift you got, Scratch Mo. Fantastic, my friend. And on banjo, everyone's favorite picker from the hills of North Carolina. A farm boy with the magic fingers, Huck Elberry. Oh, tremendous picking, tremendous picking. As for me, well, I'm from the Big Apple, New York City. And I tinkle the ivories a little. Oh, tinkle the ivories a little? Why, folks, Daniel T-Bones here is a legend in his own time. That's right. Yeah. People say he's the piano man of the century. And speaking of legends... Come on in here, come on in here, Alexander's ragtime band. Come on in here, come on in here, it's the best band in the land. They can play a bugle call like you never heard before. That's just the bestest band one has. 
honey lamb, come on along, come on along, let me take you by the hand. Up to the man, up to the man, who's the leader of the band. And if you care to hear that Swanee River played in ragtime, come on in here, come on in here, Alexander's ragtime band. Gentlemen, Daniel and the Dixie Diggers proudly present a very special rendition by the one and only Scratchmo. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Wow, Scratch, that really is a red-hot number. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, too. Where'd you learn to play it like that? At the cat's whiskers. Oh, where's the cat's whiskers? Oh, about uh, three feet from its tail. Oh, 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 oh. Three feet from its tail? I've got a tale. A tale Mark Twain once told me about when Huck Finn and Jim were running away from home. Mark Twain? The Mark Twain? Naturally, sir. Naturally. Anyway, one day when Huck and Jim were cruising down the river on that big old raft, they got mighty hungry. So they hauled ashore, and Huck went up to a man who was working on the dock. Saw, he said, can you spare a quarter for a hungry boy? The man looked at him and said, now, what would I want a hungry boy for? I've got five at home. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Colonel, but I've got my own Riverside story. A bit my little bright eyed doll, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, a bit my little bright eyed doll, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. She said, Have patience, little man, I'm sure you'll understand. I hardly know your name. I said, If I can have my way, maybe some sweet day. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside, I went my little bright eyed hull. 
You know, being on the road, playing for all you folks is just great. We all love the wandering life, but sometimes it gets a little lonesome. Here's a number we seem to be singing a lot these days. Toot, 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 say goodbye. Toot, 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 say don't cry. Oh, the choo-choo train that takes me. <laughs> Away from you. Can tell how sad it makes me. Kiss me, Tootsie, and then oh, oh, do it over again. Watch for the mail, I'll never fail. If you don't get a letter, then you know I'm in jail. Tootsie, don't cry. Tootsie, goodbye. says a lot about the life of the traveling man. Right on, Scratch. Why, one old buddy of mine went home after a gig on the road, and this is what happened. When Louie came home to the flat, he hung up his coat and his hat. He gazed all around, but no wifey he found. So he said, where can Flossie be at? A note on the table he spied. He read it just once, then he cried. It ran, Louis, dear, it's too slow for me here. So I think I will go for a ride. Everyone, sing along. Shining any place but there. We will dance a hoochie coochie. I will be your tootsie woopsie if you will be me in St. Louis. Louis, meet me at the fair. The dresses that hung in the hall, they were all gone. She had taken them all. All his rings and the rest of his things The picture he missed from the wall What moving the janitor said Your rent is paid three months ahead What good is a flat said for Louis? Read that! And the janitor smiled as he read Here we go again, loud as you can everybody Oh, 
I say that was jolly good. Absolutely spiffing. <laughs> Folks, we're going to take a short break. Stick around. <laughs> T. Beauregard at your service, sir. I hate to interrupt you solo there, Colonel, but uh, what are you doing? Registering my displeasure, sir. Registering your displeasure? What about? The number you wanted us to play. Why? It's a perfectly good number. But it's not about Dixie. Well, we sing lots of songs that aren't particularly about Dixie. <laughs> not on National Dixie Day, sir. National Dixie Day? Certainly. And I want to sing a Dixie song. What do you say, boys? Oh, sure. Well, anything to keep the peace, That's man. That's like a spiffing idea. Take it away, Colonel. By your baby with that Dixie melody, yes, sir. Cause when you croon, you croon a tune from the heart of Dixie. Now just hang my cradle, mammy mine, right on that Mason Dixon line. And I want you to swing it from Virginia. To Tennessee with all the love ah, that's in ya. Now weep no more, my lady. Just sing that song again for me. And sing it soft and low, just as though you had me on your knee. A million baby kisses I'll deliver the minute that you sing that Swanee River. So rock a bye, you rock a bye, baby, with a Dixie melody. I want you to sing that song again for me. Sing it for the colonel and sing it low. Just as though you had me right there on your knee. Now a million baby kisses I'm gonna deliver. The minute that you sing that so what a river. Come on a rock a bye. You rock a bye, baby, with that Dixie. Melody. And you ain't heard nothing yet, folks, nothing yet. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you, my dear old Swanee. I give the world to me among the folks. In a D-I-X, I even know my mammy is waiting for me, praying for me, down by the Swanee. The folks up north who will see me no more when I go to the Swanee shore. The world to be 
among the folks in D-I-X. I even know my mammies waiting for me, praying for me down by the Swanee. The folks up north will see me no more when I go to the Swanee shore. National Dixie Day? Royal blood, though dusky shade, a marked impression once she made upon a Zulu from Matabulu. And every morning he would be down underneath a bamboo tree, awaiting there his love to see. And then to her he'd sing, If you like me, like I like you, and we like you both the same. I like to say, This very day, I like to change your name, cause I love you. Every day by singing what he had to say. One day he seized her, gently squeezed her, and then beneath the bamboo green, he begged her to become his queen. The dusky maiden blushed unseen and joined him in this song. If you like me, like I like you, and we like you both the same, I like to say this very day, I like to change your name. In Africa, sir? Well, certainly, Colonel, on safari. I say, did I ever tell you about the run-in I had with the buffalo? A buffalo? I didn't know they had buffaloes in Africa. A cape buffalo, the most ferocious animal in the world. Why don't you tell us what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I did. Well, one day when I was out riding, I chanced upon this huge buffalo. My horse took one look and bolted. The bull bellowed and charged, and the race was on. We overtook a leopard at 120 miles an hour when suddenly the saddle came loose and I fell at the foot of the only tree in nine counties. Two seconds later, I was up astride the main limb, 40 feet above the ground. 40 feet in two seconds? Absolutely. Oh, and, then, and then that buffalo began to climb the tree. A bull can't climb a tree, or oh, can't he? Did you ever see one try? Well, oh, no. <laughs> Up he came, higher and higher, higher and higher and higher and higher. I took my lasso and quicker than lightning, there he was, hanging 20 feet from the ground, the biggest bull ever seen in Africa. Sounds oh, like a wow. lot of bull. That's quite a story. <laughs> that was some mean bull. Really bad. Reminds me of a man I once knew. Well, the south side of Chicago is the baddest part of town. And if you go down there, you better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, Leroy more than trouble. You see, he stood about six foot four. And all the downtown ladies call him Freak Out Lover. All the men just call him Sir. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown. The baddest man in the whole darn town. Badder than old King Kong. And meaner than a junkyard dog. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown. The baddest man in the whole darn town. Better than old King Kong and meaner than a junkyard dog. Now Leroy, he a gambler, and I like his fancy clothes, and I like to wave his diamond rings in front of everybody's nose. He got a custom Continental, he got an Eldorado too, he got a 32 gun in his pocket for fun, he got a razor in his shoe, and he's bad, bad Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole darn town. Better than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole darn town. Better than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. Well, Friday about a week ago, Leroy's shooting dice. And at the edge of the bar sat a girl named Doris, and oh, that girl looked nice. 
Well, he cast his eyes upon her, and a trouble soon began. And Leroy Brown, he learned a lesson about messing with the wife of a jealous man. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole darn town. Badder than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. And he's bad, bad, Leroy Brown, the baddest man in the whole darn town. Badder than old King Kong, and meaner than a junkyard dog. to see you. We're going to play a number I just bet you all know. So sing along with us. The stars at night are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas, the prairie sky, it's wide and high. Deep in the heart of Texas, the sage in blue. It's like perfume Deep in the heart of Texas Reminds me of the one I love Deep in the heart of Texas Well, the coyotes wail along the trail Deep in the heart of Texas place where people make money from oil and spend it like water. Oh, <laughs> you know, it's so hot in Texas, they give the chickens cold showers so they won't lay hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> you know, I heard about one Texan who gave his little boy a cowboy outfit for Christmas, a 30,000-acre ranch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then there was the little girl who liked to play house. Her daddy tried to buy her the White House. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good. All that may be true nowadays. But back when I was there, fighting for the glory of our country, the Lone Star State was a man's country. Nothing but desert, horses, and pretty girls. Why, I met a little gal there who just stole my heart away. Even used to sing a song about her. Daniel, if you'd be so kind, sir. Happy to oblige, Colonel. There's a yellow rose in Texas. I'm the one there to see. No other fella knows her, nobody, only me. She cried so when I left her, it like to broke her heart. And if we ever meet again, we never more shall part. She's the greatest little rosebud a fella ever knew. Her eyes are bright as diamonds, they sparkle like the dew. You may talk about your clementine, sing of roses to leave. But the yellow rose of Texas is the only girl for me. I'm going back to find her, my heart is full of woe. We'll sing the songs together we sang so long ago. I'll pick the banjo gaily and sing the songs of yore. The yellow rose 
of Texas She'll be mine forevermore She's the sweetest little rosebud A fella ever knew Her eyes are bright as diamonds They spark a life to do You may talk about your clementine And sing of Rosalie But the yellow rose of Texas Is the only girl for me Sing along, everyone Some brightest diamonds, they spark a life to do. You may talk about your clementine and sing of roses to me. Well, the yellow rose of Texas is the only girl for me. Colonel, you sly dog. <laughs> Didn't think I was always this old, did you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am proud to announce that following much persuasion, the great, the inimitable Scratchmo is going to honor us with one of his unforgettable vocal renditions. Scratchmo! <laughs> Actually, I'm easily persuaded, friends, yeah. Trees, singing weird melodies And they made them Was the start of the blue Yes, I rummage in Came the wheel I lay down a heart and fail And they played that it ain't in as a part of the blues And from a river wheel Out on a hill They took a new note They pushed it through a horn Till it was worn into a blue note And then they nursed it they rehearsed it And then they gave out the news That the Southland Will give birth to the blues About the wind and the whippoorwills, you know. You didn't? Haven't you ever heard a whippoorwill sing the blues? Oh, I can't say that I have, nope. <laughs> I've sure sung the blues myself, though. In concert, old man? Well, mostly on Christmas morning. <laughs> One year, all I wanted in the whole world was to have a horse of my own. So I wrote and asked Santa for a pinto. 
and he left me a little wind-up car. Oh, <laughs> tough break. You know, you know, I uh, did know a Robin who sang rock and roll once. Rock and roll? Huck, huh? you have a yep. great imagination. Oh, tell oh, us another one, It's huh? true, it's true, yep. They called him Rockin' Robin. He rocks in the treetop all day long, hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet tweet tweet. Rock and Robin, twiddly dee, twiddly dee, twiddly dee. Rock and Robin, twiddly dee, twiddly dee, twiddly dee. Twiddly dee, twiddly dee, twiddly dee. Blow, Blow Rock and Robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet, twiddly dee. Every little swallow, every chickadee, every little bird in the tall oak tree. The wise old owl, the big black crow, flap their wings, sing and go, bird go, rock and robin. Rock and robin. Blow, blow, rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet. Twiddly dee. At the bird band stand Taught him how to do the bop And it was grand They started going steady And bless my soul He out bopped the buzzard And the oriole He rocks in the treetop All day long Hopping and a-bopping And a-singing his song All the little birds On Jaybird Street Love to hear the robin Go tweet, tweet, tweet Rockin' Robin Twiddly dee, twiddly dee No, no, rockin' Robin Twiddly dee, twiddly dee, twiddly dee Blow rockin' Robin Cause we're really gonna rock tonight Tweet Twiddly dee! No rock and robin, cause we're really gonna rock tonight. Tweet! Twiddly dee! Twiddly diddly 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 dee! Twiddly didd
<laughs> then I told her I was really a millionaire, and she said she'd try harder. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how's married life going with you, huh? Oh, just great, Scratch. Peggy Sue and I share all the decision-making equally. Oh, she takes care of all the little decisions, and I take care of all the big ones. Oh, how's it working out? So, so far, there haven't been any big ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing like love, and no one quite like sweet Georgia Brown. No gal maid has got a shade on sweet Georgia Brown. Two left feet, but also need has sweet Georgia Brown. They all sigh and wanna die for sweet Georgia Brown. I tell you just why. You know I don't lie, not much. It's been said she knocks him dead when she lands in town. Since she came, why it's a shame how she cools him down. Fellas, she can't get our fellas. She ain't met Georgia Plain, but Georgia name is Sweet Georgia Brown. Hold it, hold it. The Colonel's asleep again. <laughs> the trouble with the Colonel is that he works so darn hard first thing in the morning. Oh, really? What does he do? He gets up. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, he actually woke up when his alarm clock went off. Uh, how come? It fell on his head. The colonel is so lazy that instead of raiding the refrigerator the other night when he got hungry, he ate his pillow. <laughs> <laughs> when the colonel had to go to traffic court for falling asleep in the middle of the road, the judge asked him, Colonel Beauregard, is this the first time you've ever been up before me? And the colonel answered, that depends, judge. Do you usually get up before noon or after? <laughs> How about we wake him up? Hmm? Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Sure. Hey, what, what? Oh, sorry, boys, but the old leg went to sleep. Huh? So I thought I'd join it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Folks, 
There's more to come. I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along, just rolling along. I'm quitting the blues of the world, just singing a song, just singing a song. I just phoned the parson, hey pa, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, I'm going to fall. I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along. Rolling along. to me that sitting on top of the world would be uh, sure uncomfortable. I was in Alaska once. Boy, cold! I had to sleep between so many blankets, they had to bring in a search party to find me. <laughs> Never have been to Alaska myself. Have been down under, though, by Jove. Down under? Australia, Huck, Australia! The land where winter comes in June and summer in December. It's the only place I've ever seen Santa Claus dressed in shorts and sunglasses. <laughs> oh, oh, sunglasses. Mind you, it gets pretty darn chilly there, too. Why, I once saw a kangaroo who put a zipper on her pouch so the baby wouldn't get cold. And a koala bear who bought himself an electric blanket. Oh, <laughs> man, no. you are putting us on. Why Come would on. I do that? I hear tell they have some very strange animals in Australia. Too right, mate. Kangaroo. Kangaroos, platypuses, cockatoos. Did I ever tell you the story about my old friend Digger? He was an old stockman on a sheep station. A stockman is an Australian cowboy. He had quite a collection of strange animals. And this is what happened. There's an old Australian stockman. He's lying. He's dying. And he gets himself up onto one elbow. Turns to his mates, they're all gathered round him there. And this is what he says to them. Watch me wallabies feed, mate. Watch me wallabies feed. They're a dangerous breed, mate. So watch me wallabies feed. All together now, tie me kangaroo down. Sport pool, tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Keep me cockatoo cool, curl. Keep me cockatoo cool. Don't go acting the fool, curl. Keep me cockatoo cool all together now. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Take me koala back, Jack. Take me koala back. He lives somewhere out on the track, back. So take me koala back all together. Tie me kangaroo down, sport. Tie me kangaroo down. Tie me kangaroo down, swamp. Tie me kangaroo down. That was right, Bonzo, mate. Stand by for a little musical journey, folks, straight from the home of Dixieland Jazz, way down yonder in New Orleans. A one and a two and a
swear we get better with every passing day. Modestly speaking, that is, folks. Last time I was in New Orleans, I went to the fanciest restaurant in town. I asked the waiter if they had wild duck. He said, no, but if you want to wait, we'll annoy a tame one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's your That's favorite good. dish, Huck? Well, I'd say a white one with little pretty blue flowers around the edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Very funny. Scratch, how's Ernestine's cooking coming along? Oh, just great, Daniel. She made a marble cake last week. A marble cake? How was it? Well, it lived up to its name. We decided to use it as a support under the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like my aunt's cherry pie. We used to call it George Washington pie because the only way to cut it was with a hatchet. <laughs> a pretty fishy tale, if you ask me. Like the story of Goldifish and the Three Barracuda? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a story that sure beats any of those. Mr. Smurfrick gave a party just about a week ago. Everything was plenty for the Murphys, they're not slow. They treated us like gentlemen, we tried to act the same. Only for what happened, well, it was an awful shame. When Miss Murphy dished the chowder out, she fainted on the spot. She found a pair of overalls at the bottom of the pot. Tim Nolan, he got ripping mad, his eyes were bulging out. He jumped up on the piano and loudly he did shout. Who threw the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chowder? Nobody spoke, so he shouted. from out the soup and laid them on the floor. Each man swore upon his life in nursing them before. They were plastered up with mortar and were worn out at the knee. They had their many ups and downs as we could plainly see. And when Miss Murphy she came to, she began to cry and pout. She had them in the wash that day and forgot to take them out. Tim Nolan, he excused himself for what he said that night. So we put music to the words and sung with all our might. Come on, everyone. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's get this show on the road. Why, Colonel, this isn't like you. What's your ride? <laughs> well, uh, well, I thought while we were in dock, I'd uh, slip down to the racetrack between shows. Colonel, I didn't know you were a gambling man. Sir, I don't gamble. Horse racing is the sport of kings. I, I just engage in a friendly little wager now and then. <laughs> I placed a bet on a horse once. Did he win, Sir Percival? Well, actually, no, Scratch. You see, he was a very well-bred horse, and, well, when he found out the other horses in the race were girl horses, he decided to let them go first. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> I backed a horse once and lost $50. Well, how come, Huck? Well, I backed him through Grandma's plate glass window. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Here's <laughs> a little song. Salute to Colonel Beauregard's favorite pastime. The Camptown ladies sing this song. Do da, do da. The Camptown racetrack five miles long. Oh, do da day. I come down there with my hat caved in. Do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin. Oh, do da day. Going to run all night. Going to run all day. I bet my money on the bottom tail neck. Somebody bet on the bay. The blind horse sticking in a big mud hole. Do da, do da. Can't touch bottom with a ten foot pole. Oh, do da day. Going to run all night. Going to run all day. I'll bet my money on the bobtail neck. Somebody bet on the bay. Oh, do da day. Going to run all night. Going to run all day. I'll bet my money on the bobtail neck. Somebody bet on the bay. Oh, do da day. Going to run all night.
somebody bet on the bay. everyone we'll be right back after the first race for your pleasure ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we proudly present a special performance by Mr. Magic Fingers, Huck L. Berry himself. picking than that. And do you folks know that Huck doesn't read a note of music? Well, like I always say, you see one note, you've seen them all. I also heard that you played your banjo all night last night. Well, that's only because my neighbor kept knocking on the wall demanding an encore. At three o'clock in the morning? It's a wonder your wife didn't hit the ceiling. Well, she would have, but she's a rotten shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man, you keep laughing like that, you're gonna lose your hat. <laughs> A hat like that deserves to be lost. Where in the world did you find it? That is the most fascinating story, since you ask. Now how I came to get this hat is very strange and funny. When father died and left to me his property and money. And when the will it was read out, they told me straight and flat. If I would have his money, I must always wear his hat. Where did you get that hat? Where did you get that tie? A knobby one and just the proper style I should like to have one Just the same as that Where I go they all shout Hello, Hello. Where, where did you get, get that, that hat? If I go to the opera house In the opera scene <laughs> Someone's sure to shout at me Without the slightest reason If I go to a chowder club To have a trolley spree There's someone in the party Who is sure to shout at me Get that hat, where did you get that tile? Isn't it a knock? 